Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Traversing Food. Today we are back in Lithuania where I have this single meal ration. Menu number 10. I believe this one is beef stew with vegetables. It weighs in at 0.67 kilograms or about one and a half pounds. Has 1,495 calories with an expiration date of January 15th, 2019. And as usual, got this from the great people at Foreign MRE. I've always liked the uh, Lithuanian rations. I always tell my friends, if you wanted to start out trying international rations, to start out with these, because they're not too expensive. I think they're around $24. And for that price, you know, you get a decent amount of food. Just a few snacks and a main. And for drinks, I think it's usually just a energy drink and a tea or coffee. I know the tear notches uh, don't really work too well on these. I'll get, get this opened up the usual decent way. And first step, these stoves are just, you know, standard, really light, almost like aluminum stove. Don't really care for these. And we have our main. We have our beef stew with vegetables. 240 grams. Um, yeah. Does have a flameless ration heater. We have our accessory pack. I'll open that up in a minute. And another smaller accessory pack. We have a pack of hazelnuts. I believe these are unsalted. We have our tough as nails biscuits, 90 grams. These look like they've been uh, toasted a little more than usual. And that's all that's in the bag. We have our accessory pack, spoon. Have our moist towelette. Got a, it's got a zip tie in there. I guess it's so you can reseal your bag if you need to put your food back in it. Fuel tabs and matches for your stove. Will not be needing them. I will be using a flameless ration heater. And for the rest of our stuff, we got 30 grams of Lithuanian honey. And it flat out sta states on there, it's Lithuanian honey. We have a 36 gram chocolate bar. We have a vitamin C drink. I believe this is lemon flavored. We have a package of instant coffee. And a 12 gram pack of sugar. Also in there was a little information sheet which shows the hazelnuts were 56 grams. Okay, that is everything. Let me get my tray and we'll get started. Okay, everybody, here's everything on the tray. Looks like a decent little meal. First up, let's get our main started. It takes about 10 minutes. Comes with your uh, instruction sheet. Just takes uh, 60 mils of water. Or just uh, fill it up to the line. You also have a piece of tape here to close your ration after you fold it over. But you got two pads in there for just a 240 gram ration. Plenty of heating power. But anyway, I know the uh, honey is uh, a little bit hard, so uh, I'll put it under my ration. Hopefully it'll soften up a little bit. Yeah, it's already starting to go. Doesn't take long with these. Let me back a little bit so it don't fog up the camera. Okay. 
Okay, everybody, it's been about eight minutes. So let's start getting everything else ready. Check out our wet wipe. I do not like these. They, uh, I know they do the job, but they, uh, yeah, it, it smells like lemon scented pledge, which you use for dusting. And it's okay. I mean, they're, they're very, they are very weak, but they do dry quick. They do a good job. Let's get our drinks ready. The uh, vitamin C drink actually calls for 600 milliliters of water, but I'll just use about 500. That's about how much my glass holds. It's a really good coffee. I've always enjoyed this coffee. Okay, it's been about 12 minutes. Let's get our main out. And, uh, I don't know if it went back to a liquid state, but, uh, that honey is pretty hot. I mean, you can see it, uh, got so hot it actually transferred some of the print to my tray. Which does not seem to want to come off. I guess I'll know better next time. And I'm going to have to move that back a little bit. This thing is hot. I don't know if you can hear it too well, but like almost the first five minutes, you can still hear water boiling in the ration heater. I think I just noticed something with this ration. I don't see any tear notches. Just have to make my own tear notch. Smells really good. As I make a mess. Smells really good. You can definitely smell the onions in there. Almost smells like it's a little bit, got some curry in there. Um, chunks of beef are really big. Um, Looks like you got small pieces of potatoes, a few small pieces of carrots. Wish the vegetables were bigger. But yeah, it does smell good and big old chunks of beef. But I'm going to let that cool down a bit. Check out the hazelnuts. And some decent sized hazelnuts. biscuits which even though they taste great you can see here they got a small piece of caraway seed in there these have been uh looks like baked a little bit longer than normal but as i always do they're pretty damn tough got our chocolate bar hopefully it's okay it's got a little bit of bloom to it, but uh, it looks fine. Let's check out our hazelnuts. I mean, they look great. Unfortunately, they're unsalted. Might be a little bland. And they are. You can tell they're starting to get a little bit of age on them. Starting to taste a little bit stale. But they're still good. Check out our vitamin C drink. It does have a decent lemon flavor. You can easily taste the uh, vitamin C in there. Even though it's a little bit artificial tasting, I do enjoy it. And the coffee. Lithuanian coffee has always been really good. It's very smooth. One thing I like about the sprayed coffees, it doesn't have too much of an instant taste to it like freeze dried does. And of all the coffees I've tasted so far in military rations, the Lithuanian coffee 
is the only one where you can have a taste of it and it almost seems like it coats your tongue. Very good flavor. But let's check out the honey, see how it done. Yeah, it just about went all back to a liquid state. Just give it some heat. Get a piece of our biscuit. <laughs> Jeez. You can definitely taste that these have been baked a little bit longer than the others. But I'll try a little bit with the honey. The honey adds so much more flavor to it. I have always enjoyed the Lithuanian honey. It has such good flavor. And let's give Romain a try. I'm just going to take a bite of this big old chunk of beef. That has really good flavor to it. Seasoned very well. It's extremely tender. And let me check here. It's almost too tender. Is it a... Uh, I don't know, it looks like it's just processed into like a ground meat. I could be wrong. Because it is so tender that it basically just melts in your mouth. But yeah, I don't taste any structure to it. So I do believe it's just more like a ground beef. But as for the rest of it, you know, the potatoes and carrots, you can easily taste onions. I just wish there were bigger pieces in there. But other than that, the flavor is really good. I will definitely be finishing all that. And our chocolate bar. Yeah, that is more of a milk chocolate bar. Very good flavor. Nice and sweet. Now, I'm kind of amazed it hasn't bloomed more than it has. But yeah, that's very good. Not as good as that coffee, though. That That is just really good. Of all the rations I've had, I'd say for coffee, for instant, this is pretty much my favorite. My absolute favorite is the actual ground coffee that comes in a little tea bag. I believe those are in the Estonian rations. But that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed the review of this Lithuanian single meal ration, menu number 10, which is the beef stew with vegetables. Flavor-wise, everything's really good on flavor. I just wish the uh, vegetables in the main were a lot bigger. But for where I'm heading next, I know Pauly over at Pauly's MRE Reviews and Things. He's mentioned he wanted me to check out my Polish SRG, menu number 3. So, we're heading to Poland next. But if you like what you saw, hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.